You don't want to be stranded out in the middle of nowhere or have to walk your mountain bike several miles to the parking lot, do you? No, of course you don't. But that's exactly what's going to happen if you're not able to change a flat tube when you're out on the trails. By the end of this video, you're going to know the steps so that you can change that tube and continue having fun out on the trails. Hey, it's Coach Eric here bringing you weekly training and racing tips to improve your off-road triathlon experience. Today, we unfortunately are talking about getting a flat tire out on the trails. And so, you've got to be able to change that. It, it can take a day that might be ruined into a day where you take a few minutes, you change that tube, and you're back out uh, onto the trails. i got another video I'll put in the upper right um, where it's changing your tire when you're back home. Um, but this is the more difficult time when you're out on the trails. So let's get to that. So when I get that flat, usually there's nowhere to lean your bike up against out on the trails. If there is, that's great. But I usually just sort of flip the bike over uh, regardless of what uh, tire is flat. Then all you're going to need is hopefully everything that's in your repair kit that's attached to your bike. You've prepared this ahead of time, right? Right. Okay. So inside you've got CO2 cartridge with a little valve. You've got a couple of tire levers. I bring two just in case. And then of course, you've got your spare tube. If the tire's not totally flat, go ahead and let the rest of the air out of it. And before you uh, go any further, you wanna take this little uh, silver ring piece here and you wanna twist that off, otherwise the tube won't come out. Whatever you do, don't lose that little guy. Okay, near the valve, but not right at the valve, go ahead and uh, insert that tire level air and you should be able to pull and pull it off that rim like that. Just slide it around until one side is completely removed. It doesn't always come off that easily, so if it doesn't, what you can do is you can actually work by pushing in the side of the tire and go all the way around, loosen it up, and then you can flip it around and again work the side of the tire until it becomes loose, and then try again with the tire lever to pull off that one side. Once that side's off, find where your valve is at here and pull out that flat tube. You're going to want to keep this for two reasons. One, don't litter. Number two, you may actually be able to patch it later. So I fold it up, throw it in my jersey, and I'll examine it when I get home. Now all these steps are essential, but this one is especially important. You're going to want to actually examine both the top of the tire and just spin around. And what you're looking for is anything that caused it. So if there's a thorn or something, make sure you pull that out. But you're examining uh, as you look through the top here and you don't see anything. And then actually, you know, on the inside of the tube here, you're actually going to want to inspect um, and feel uh, to make sure um, that whatever caused the, uh, the flat, uh, that you're able to remove that. Otherwise, you're going to put the tube back in, pump it up, and then it's going to flatten all over again. So make sure that it's totally clean uh, and clear from anything that's sharp that perhaps caused the flat in the first place. All right, so grab that fresh tube. One of the other things that I don't use that other people find really helpful that actually makes this process a little faster is having a little hand pump. Um, you got to carry it on your bike, um, but uh, for times like this, it's able, you're able to put a little bit of air uh, into that tube um, before you put it in, and it just makes the, the process uh, work a little faster. But um, I don't have one. I don't take it. It takes me a little bit longer, so I'm going to go ahead and do that right now. Okay, I go ahead and find the uh, hole for the valve. Insert the valve there, and then work it around so the tube is inside the tire. Now, if you don't have that hand pump and it's totally flat, you can actually open up the press the valve, and I actually have uh, used my mouth to blow a little air in there. It just um, starts to sit in there a little bit easier if you get a little air in the tire. Once that new tube is in there, you're going to go ahead and start where the valve is at, and now you're going to start putting the tire back in. It's called, uh, with the bead is, in, I think it was 10 years of riding before I realized this was called a bead, so you'll be more knowledgeable than me, but you're placing that side of the bead and you're going around, working it in, making sure that tube stays inside. Out on the trail, you might have to actually use the ground uh, to help you out. Once you get down to the end, you don't have that much more to put in here. I usually end up needing a tire lever to help work it in. It just uh, typically is too tough to get, but if you just pop it in there like that, and it's in. What you want to make sure when you use these tire levers though is you don't uh, 
stab the tube, flat the tube, um, or when you're putting it in, don't twist it anyway. So just make sure, um, you know, after it's, the tire's completely on, make sure the tube is not sticking out anywhere, and you usually examine all the way around. And now you're ready to pump it up. Go ahead and put this little guy back on to where the valve's at. Just twist it up on there. This would be a great time to also use that hand pump to get it going if you've got it. But uh, it typically won't get it up to as much pressure as you need. So something like a CO2 is perfect. Um, any size will get you enough air, hopefully, to finish your ride for a mountain bike tire. I usually have a 16 gram uh, cartridge. So you're just going to take it, you're going to attach it here, and then you're going to turn and inflate and turn it to fill it up. Something that surprised me the first time I used a CO2 is it's extremely cold right where it's coming out. So be careful not to touch the valve. Um, as it, you'll see, it, it's uh, pretty freezing cold. But um, once that tire inflates, uh, go ahead and grab it. And uh, again, look around, make sure that, that the tube has not um, come out anywhere um, so it's not pressed against the rim uh, and the wheel. I hope that video was helpful for you to show you the basics of how to change uh, a flat tube when you're out on the trail so it doesn't ruin your whole day and you can get back uh, riding and having some fun. So uh, I will put in the upper uh, right uh, a link to a video on a tubeless tire setup. Uh, I got sick of getting uh, flat tubes and so I went to that setup. So something that you should uh, really go to. I, it's been a year since I've had a flat tire with uh, the tubeless setup. But if you've got to have tubes, um, this is how you change them along the way. So hit that red subscribe button. It's totally free. Also free, you can check out my off-road triathlon race day checklist to reduce race day stress. New video next week. And until then, I will see you on the trails without a flat tire.